They've just taken large oil. God, there's so many on different boats. Watch as I build an unraidable solo fortress next to oil rig whilst making a lot of enemies along the way and getting some amazing revenge on my number one targets. Bye bye. <laughs> some nice revenge. What? <laughs> Give me one second. <coughs> A new wipe, a new day. Hello boys and girls, it's Heidi here, and welcome back to another Rust video. Today I'm going to be playing solo on a reasonably small map today, and my plan is to build near the oil rigs and make a really indestructible base design. So, let's get into this video, um, I guess I'll hit these barrels. Ooh, an early machete thing. Good little start already. More tarp. Leather gloves, I've whacked those on. I guess we'll head to the harbour. Where are we on this map right now? Oh, the map's incredible. Oh, is there a... Oh, there's an oil rig there. Maybe I should live around this side of the map, actually. This might be okay. We'll see if this is active around here. So, and we'll uh, decide whether to build here, depending on... How active this area is, because I don't want it to be dead. Right, let's head to harbour now. Any barrels? Yes, there is. Maybe I should go hit a tree quick, so when I recycle the, the cloth, I can just make a bow straight away. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Let's head inland a little bit. We'll hit this tree right here. Oh, on this server I have blueprints. I didn't actually know that. But I have custom hollow... Well, that's what I need. I just need a custom. I then headed to the recycler to get all the materials I'll need for my early wipe. Cool, we've already got 180 scrap from that. That's lovely. Oh man, playing without a crosshair is very... Very hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> After eventually killing those players, I looted their bodies, and then I headed inland to collect some wood. And with this wood, I'll be able to make a base. But a quick word from today's sponsor. Shout out Rust Clash for sponsoring this video. Rust Clash is a case opening website with a lot of games you can explore, such as Case Battles, Mines, Upgrader, and Plinko. And I've just added two extra game modes, Roulette and Jackpot. They have three games you can choose between. This being Dota, CSGO, and finally Rust. And with that, you can deposit your own skins for currency. They also have other methods such as credit card and also crypto. It is the only website that offers direct PayPal cash out and also crypto, with weekly giveaways on site of up to $25,000 each week. So use my code Heidi to unlock rate back and daily caters that can be claimed every 24 hours for free based on your level. Remember to gamble responsibly. And lastly, be 18 years or older. Thank you, Rust Clash, for sponsoring this video. Oh, I've just spotted a player. He's in these bushes. What? even have this stuff. Now since I had a really stacked inventory, I decided to make a one by one in the area since this area actually looked pretty good. This guy was actually low-key stacked, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, we actually have some good loot now. Now I think it was about time we adventured these lands and got myself into some intense PvP. And well, I heard gunshots going off in the distance, so I headed over there to investigate. Uh. 
Oh, come on. What the hell? come from like what Guy, man. Okay, we're back in base. We actually needed that loot. It actually wasn't going too bad for me as a solo so far, but I did want to expand this base of mine. So after depoting, I headed out for a much needed farm run. What is this? <clears throat> He's like, Lenny, no! Stuff. Just leave us alive, please. <sighs> I'm too kind for this game, man. Oh, did his friend die? Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm evil. Hey, bro. I was just wondering, um, do you know the Muffin Man? Nope. He did not know the Muffin Man. Bye, sir. Revy. Oh, he's a little builder. Well, these guys are raiding over with that AK, but there's, there's six of them, so there's just no point. Actually, no point even going over there. Now, without realising it, I was building within clan territory, and they were really slowing down my progress as a solo. I mean, I was definitely making plays on these guys, but any Rust player knows the one rule. There is always one more. And this did become quite a theme in my early game, wipe. Okay, I need to use this headlamp to see where this uh, other body is. <laughs> oh no, he's full metal, man! What the fuck? Where? Who, man? They were raiding all bases around me, and well, I did have my chances of making plays, but again, the cruel reality of solo Russ kicked in. Kicked in how you ask? Let me show you. Is it me or is this game a joke right now? Is this game just shit? Oh. 38 metal fragments, key card, and a supply signal. Fuck it. You ain't gonna look my way, are you? Oh my god. Okay, we're taking a shotgun.
No! Okay, I need to go back fast with a Thompson. Oh, he's there. She just cannot do anything. AKs are just, it's just too dumb now. I have now come to realization it was now time to move out this area. Like I said, this was going to be based around oil rig, and so I stuck to the plan. My idea was to build at the top right of the map in the desert, since it would be less grubby and also large rig was there too. So, it was now time to adventure a different part of the map. Goodness gracious me, what is this? What is this guy? What is this? What we do is we're just gonna collect sulfur along the way to outpost and probably just buy a gun. I forgot you could do that, so uh, I think that's the plan. I've already got 15 bullets, I can also craft the bullets, so... I don't know why I put myself through all this struggle, to be honest. Oh, beautiful. Right, let's see what I can buy. Um, custom SMG. 150 out of stock. MP5 for 400? I'm just gonna buy that. Fuck it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shit, there's guys here. Oh, do we make a quick base? This guy's lamp partying or some shit? Why are they so laggy? Oh, we're in. Hey guys, we're gonna go find a base location now. Got some stuff to take and make for a base. Be cool to build here, but I did want to build an oil rig base this way, so I'm gonna stick to the plan. Oh, there's a boat. <laughs> it's a sign to live here, I guess. We have a base. I say we try and get a blue card, then a red card, and we could literally just send it to oil straight away. Oh my god, I don't even know if I was recording. Sort of came out of nowhere. 
Oh my god. Uh oh. We need to leave. Right now. Shit, man. No. Oh, this, this is not good. No, not today, man. Oh, I'm being shot. Where did I just get shot from? Oh my god, oh my god. He has an AK, and you don't mess with AKs. I'm in base. Whew. It actually turns out that these guys ended up raiding my one by one, but luckily I did move loot to my secret main base, which was very lucky of me. Okay, so I'm just gonna head to harbor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a, um, a fuse. Damn it, man. 500. What? Combo. And the red cards can be replaced for a semi body, I guess. So we're in base. Oh, we got a lot of scrap from that as well. What's this base? The cane? Oh, it is the cane. Dude, this look. This is an oil rig base as well, so it's going to be absolutely stacked, man. Now, I did actually end up raiding this base, but I'm not going to show you the loot just yet. <laughs> That's until later on in the video. But I think it's about time we went to oil rig. So, I got kitted up and I headed straight there. That is cargo, though. Damn, a crossbow. Thanks, game. Compound bow. <laughs> Why do I get given this loot, man? I would only need a flamethrower. Another one? I'm guessing not much. I'm 39 would be nice. That's actually not bad, so I do want to raid that armored wall. So that might help, actually. The crate. What do we get? Yeah, that's actually um that's actually really good. I actually take that.
And we arrive in base. Let's go. Okay, that was actually really worth. Now I'm gonna ex uh, I'm gonna start expanding this base. So we're gonna have to get wood and also stone. Now whilst I was heading to the outpost, I noticed a decayed base with a player inside. So I headed over there to see what was happening. There is a guy in there. What's in here? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Um. Oh shit, man. This is gonna be loaded. This is gonna be absolutely loaded. I can't die here. It's just so laggy. But... God. I find the loot box that was like full to the brim. That has he there. Okay. <laughs> um I need to maybe keep that. Odd man. What do I do here? <laughs> this box didn't get touched and all this stuff <laughs> I waited for darkness to approach as this would give me my highest chance of escaping so I waited around to letting people pass by until finally getting my chance to ladder out of there We are nearly in base. Please get me in. That was hell. Woo! We're in. That was so good, man. Look at this. We need to make more loot boxes. Now, Rust is all fun and games, getting all this loot, but what's the point if your base is too C4 away from losing everything? So after getting back, I upgraded what would eventually be my main oil rig base. Yeah, that should be done. Now if I upgrade this man, this should be 5% stable. Yes, it works. Okay, cool. 
Now how the bunker works is if I place... Well, to make sure it works, I guess, we do this. We place a floor thing from here. That places, and if we destroy this now, it goes. And that's the bunker. So I carried on building onto my new base, as I did annoy a lot of people in the area, so I wanted to make sure this base was as strong as possible. Okay. Carry on making the base. If I upgrade this now, it should be 5% still, and that means I can still make my bunker. Alright guys, I got my full metal set on because we're going straight back to oil rig. That's the plan. I want to keep getting loads of loot from this, so <clears throat> let's make a load of bandages and stuff. We'll take the 70 fuel there, the red card. Bye here, Helen. No. Landmine. Are they? What the f How was that? Yeah, he is. What the fuck is this, man? They're fucking weird. Is that two or one? I don't know. He just locked himself in the room. Oh, no. No. Yes. Two or one. Oh, it was him. Coffee cam, man. Hello, airdrop. What do we get? Oh, we actually got a C4. <laughs> actually needed. So I arrived home with one extra C4 from the crate, and I still had my eyes open on the decayed base that was next to me, so after depoting, I went straight over there to raid it. gonna break it like 17 Ooh that's loaded man I knew there'd be a garage door as well oh shit yeah this is loaded thank you Um Now after this I headed to cargo, but unfortunately there were no counters so I had it all to myself. So here's the loot I got, swap out for this.
It's day two, my friends, and we haven't been raided. To be fair, I did I um did expect to survive the night since I've actually used a bunker. <laughs> I've actually used a bunker for once, and I have a base, so I think I'll be using more bunker base designs. Uh, like this, I guess, since they do keep you alive. They are. I do recommend this one as well. It's really easy to make. Pretty cool base, but not gonna lie, guys, we are <laughs> we're pretty loaded. Um, today's plan. Oh, rigs taken. All rigs are taken, which is good signs. Wanna <clears throat> carry on making this base? So that's the plan for today. So I got to it, further upgrading this cool base design and I did want to fully complete it today since I was pretty stacked with loot. I had survived this night, but you never know what may happen later on, so it's always good to be safe than sorry. And it's 28 days in, so who cares about a crate? It's on. Oh! I lied. I'm <laughs> very much lied about that. Um. What just happened? But that's just this guy. <laughs> what do I do here? Oh my god! Why are they so hard to kill now? Yeah, man. How did you set it up? Oh, comes. No man, fuck off. It's there. Man, I need to turn my heater off, man. It's too hot now. Jesus Christ, I'm scorching. Whoosh! Oh, dead rat. Oh, what the fuck's this guy? How many are there, man? I'm not going to waste any time looking for that. What the fuck? Yes. Almost instantly this group right here become my number one target for the wipe. I knew I couldn't raid these guys, but this doesn't mean I couldn't get any sort of revenge. I just had to find out where they lived. And if you noticed, it was the same guy called Deluxe that killed me, and this literally took him three to four minutes to get back to oil rig. So I knew their base was going to be nearby. Oh. I don't know how to play this though. Huh. Looks like we'd found our group. I've taken it. Whoo! 
Oh my god, there's so many on different boats. Bye bye. <laughs> Some nice revenge. Hell yeah. Now, if you think I was done there with these guys, you were wrong. If you hadn't noticed, I actually got 2C4 from killing them. And well, I wanted to raid their stone base since it could be pretty stacked, so I headed over there to pay them a visit. That back one. Do this. Guess I'll just leave. Later. Oh, nice, these guys. <laughs> oh. oh, man, they were broke. I think it's about time we had some embrasures. You're probably thinking, Heidi, why didn't you raid them like you said? Well, actually I did, but unfortunately the loot wasn't great. Turns out it was just their boat base, and I did get the majority of their loot when the hazmat died outside his door. This means, though, that their base was nearby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious me. Hello there. I'm just casually swimming, and there's a team going there right now. Okay, so they left their boat right here, meaning, are they going to go straight on though, or are they going to wait? I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, I go now, I guess. Ain't good. God, no, they're going to be in vents and stuff.
Are you dead or what? I know there's gonna be more. There has to be. Always more. Let's be honest. I'm gonna close all these doors just in case there's any grubs in there. <clears throat> I need to make space for... When I jump, I need to put my shoe things on. Bins. Shit, man. They know where I live. That's bad. Oh, I can't believe we just made that. That's insane, man. There was so many little grubs around. Let's dip out of here, man. I'm gonna park it towards harbour side and run back, so probably camp in my base right now. Yeah, look, they're camping my base, you can just see them. <laughs> Right, we're in. Woo! That's worth, man. Go, go, go. Of course I did! <laughs> of course! Get the hell out of here, man. There we go. Oh. Alright, guys. It's time to keep carrying on the base. Let's get this going. There's a little something like this. This is the heli garage right here. For use wandering. So now I'm going to go actually go to the outpost now and buy a heli. Because I do want to go to oil rig. So with this, you need low walls like this. And you put in... An Put them in each corner, then you can, after that, build uh, triangle roofs in the middle. So, look a little something like this. And on one of them, you can't actually place it, but there is a way around that. Oh, and I've done it. I'm the Legend 27, apparently. Alright, guys, I'm going to go to the outpost and recycle some stuff. I do need cloth, so I might just buy a cloth with scrap if that's a thing. I'm not sure if it is, but I don't need all these pipes. This is re uh, with this server is really good. You can just sit down and recycle. Uh, excuse me, horse. I can just do this, and then I can just like go on my phone without having to worry about getting nudged, you know. And there we go. We recycle these. You get some cloth as well, if you didn't know. And that, my friends, is how you get a shit ton of cloth. <laughs> 870, just like that. Hopefully no sand sites. Hey, off to rig we go. Jesus.
Damn, it's the first time I got a gun in an elite crate in so long. Shit. My god. A stack of ammo on him. Ah. Ah. What? Oil refinery, yeah, let's go. Cool. Actually needed that. Here's my entrance. I wonder if I can take a boat in there. That'd be sick if I could. Wait, let me see if I can actually take a boat in there. Uh, hey, it moves faster than... Hey, look at that. It works. <laughs> Let's go. That actually works. So if I went to drive it... Oh my god, it works. This is sick, man. Cool. And these two slots here will eventually have large furnaces in them, which is cool. Now I actually saw the excavator was being taken, so I roamed over there to see what I could do. And well, we get into a lot of action. Oh, I think I just saw one. Yes, I did. Oh, it's these guys! Wow. God, he's just weird. Oh, there it is. Um, um, um. Um, what's going on?
What the f is this? What is happening? Um. No. What? Ooh. Yes, it was that guy. Okay, I'm out. Need to grab all the stuff. Go, baby. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> he's fucking done it, mate. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? I'm a dilemma at the moment. No TC, yes. No. What is going on? <laughs> what the f is going on? Oh my god, that sound scared the shit out of me. Why did it do that? Oh, oh fuck it. Berries. Yes. No. No. <laughs> Come on. A bit too much loot from that raid. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, God, I'm loaded, man.
Right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to log off now. This was day two, and yeah, day two went absolutely crazy, not going to lie. Like, we got so much loot. Let me just show you the loot we got on day two. Pretty much moved a lot downstairs, but I still do have some stuff. We have a workbench tree I can place down tomorrow if we're still around and not raided. So I'm going to cover this up now. We'll close that and that. And here's the main loot we got. Here's the armor. Uh, just the wood shit. And here is the loot. Boom. <laughs> we got this box of guns. We got an M2 as well today. Here's our other box of guns. We have a box of ammo. And our comp box goes pretty hard as well. And here's the... Uh, we've got a lot of scrap as well. Basically, just place that. Place this. Upgrade that. And I'm secured. Guys, it's the next day. And we didn't actually get raided. Oh, I lost my ladder. That's annoying. And I actually hear people on cargo right now. Oh, no, my ladder's here. Yeah, there's people on cargo, so I want to head there now on a heli. It's right here as well, next to my base. Okay, he's dead. Why did he die so fast? My guy was struggling against AI, I see. Okay, he got absolutely destroyed. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a risk and jump down. Oh my god. You got an AK as well? My cargo has so much loot. 10 minutes? 10 minutes? That's very long. Oh shit. It's going. I can't even get the crates. These guys took it mega late. <clears throat> Guess we're out of here. Guys, like, I'm just getting too geared right now. Like, I have an extra two AKs on me and a bolt action. <laughs> How has that even happened? I've been playing five minutes. Ooh, I've just seen excavators being taken. Maybe I should go there. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I want a silencer. Silencer is so important as a solo, guys, so... That's the biggest tip from uh, me, is that if you, like, if you're trying to roam for PvP, and you have an AK, you use a silencer, man. Oh my god. What? Nothing.
Yep. So guys, I think I'm going to end my wipe here. We got absolutely loaded in this really cool base at large rig. Let me show you the end loot we got. We got all this shit. Um, they all in here, might as well for the show. We got a load of guns. We had a, a box of ammo, box of guns, another box of guns. We did get the M2, but there's not enough players anymore to even roam. Um, we've got a really nice comp box right here. Look at this. The space design is definitely one of my favorites. Any loot in here? Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a load of wood as well. We did get the workbench. I forgot to place that, but this was a really fun wipe, to be fair. Maybe one of my funnest wipes. There was a lot of um, counter raiding and counter oil rig takes and stuff. And that's the power of having a base near oil rig. So, you know. Hopefully you guys build an oil rig like this as a solo. Because remember you can't get roof camp to oil rig. So, and there's no sleeping bags there. So if you actually win the fight then you pretty much won. But yeah. This has been your boy Heidi. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.